This video will cover the process of remotely accessing library electronic books and journals via the library website. The library website can be accessed via the URL uonlibrary.uonbi.ac.ke. On the library website, hover your cursor over e-resources and scroll down on the drop-down menu to where you see remote access and open the link. This will open the remote access page. On this page, you will be presented with two options. Option 1, remote access using VPN. And option 2, remote access using RemoteX. We will start with the first option, remote access using VPN. On clicking on the first option, a login page will open. This platform requires you to use your Active Directory account to log in, whether you're a student or a member of staff. Enter your username and your password to log in. Once you're logged in, this will be the landing page you will arrive at. The first box, as is shown on this page, says UON Library Electronic Journals. Alongside this, we also have other links that are relevant to specific departments of the University of Nairobi. For the purpose of this demonstration, our focus will be solely on the first link that says UON Library Electronic Journals. Click on this link and it will open the Electronic Journals page on the library website. Kindly note that this does not mean that you only have access to electronic journals. Hover your cursor over e-resources and scroll to the second link that says electronic books. On this page, we have listed in alphabetical order a list of journal databases, some of which we have subscribed to, others which are open source. Each database has been given a brief description highlighting the areas of study that it covers. Scroll down to find the one that fits your needs or the one that you feel is most relevant to what you need. Uh, for this demonstration, I will pick JSTOR. On opening the JSTOR link, you will notice on the top section, it says access provided by the University of Nairobi. You will only see this notification if you are accessing this site via VPN. In the search box, you can search for the topic that you are looking for. For example, knowledge management. And you can see that it has returned a list of results. Scroll down to browse the results that have returned. We can pick this one for the purpose of this demonstration, customer knowledge management. To the right side of this title, there is a link that says download PDF. Click on this link to begin the process of downloading. You will be asked to accept JSTOR terms and conditions. Click the accept button to proceed to download. And you can see the document that we chose for this demonstration opens via a process as you have seen that is quite simple and straightforward. This document carries 11 pages and scrolling down to the bottom, you can see that it is a complete article. And that is a process of using VPN, remote access tool, to access electronic journals via the library website. That was the first option. Let's now look at the second option, which is remote access using Remote X. Click on the link to open the login page. Now, the Remote X platform requires one to use their university email account, whether you're a student or a member of staff. For first time users, one is required to register via this link. Complete the form beginning by entering your university email account. I will demonstrate using my own university email account. As you can see, it says that the email address is already in the system. Uh, this is because I already have an account with the system. But for the sake of demonstrating the registration process, I will proceed. It is not mandatory to upload a user profile image. You can disregard this option. Enter your first name and your last name. Scroll down and accept the terms and conditions by clicking on I agree. Continue scrolling and enter the capture as it appears and click on create new account. Once you have done this, a request for a new account will be sent to us and we will approve your new account within 24 hours. Once your account has been approved, you will receive an email with a link. Click on the link to set up your password. Once everything is all set up, you can now log in. Upon logging in to RemoteX, you're presented with this page. At the top, you can see a notification that says you are off campus and can access subscribed resources. The resources are listed beginning with e-journals and as you scroll down, you get to see other databases that you can access via this platform. I will pick PubMed Central for the purpose of this demonstration. On opening this database, you can either browse 
or you can type in your desired topic in the search bar. I will search for pediatric nutrition. And you can see, as was the case with JSTOR, it has returned a list of results. Select one that you feel is most relevant to what you're looking for. For example, we can pick the first one, nutritional management and follow-up of infants and children with food allergy. Underneath this title, you will notice the list of authors indicated there. And below that, you have listed horizontally a list of links, starting with article, pub reader, PDF, and citation. Click on PDF to download this document. And you can see in those few simple steps, you have access to the desired document. This document totals nine pages. And as you can see, it is a complete article. As I have demonstrated, remote access to library electronic books and journals is a simple and straightforward process. You are presented with two options, remote access using VPN and remote access using remote X. Kindly note that as a student or a member of staff, you do not need to have both of them. One is sufficient to give you access to the resources that you need for your studies or your research. The only difference between the two is that RemoteX is only used by the library to provide access to electronic resources, while VPN can also be used by other departments to gain access to their internal departmental systems remotely. I want to repeat that to use VPN, one needs to have an Active Directory account, whether you are a student or a member of staff. And to use RemoteX, one needs to have a working university email account, whether you are a member of staff or a student. For students, I will cover the process of setting up your Active Directory account and your student's email account in a separate video. For now, I will continue demonstrating the resources that are accessible via the library website. While on the library website, as you scroll down to the right side of the screen, you will see a title that says Important Links. Below this title, we have provided links to important resources which can be useful to students and researchers. I will touch on two of these resources for this demonstration. The first one being Open Data Sources. Clicking on this link will open a page where we have compiled a list of open data sources, including local sources as well as international sources. These are especially useful to researchers as they provide a wealth of data on various areas. The other link that I will look at under important links is library guides and presentations. This link opens this page where we have compiled a list of trainings done by the library on various key areas. The trainings are available on this page both in PDF format as well as the live recordings of the trainings. Additionally, on the library website, you can also get information on publishing by clicking on this link. Here, you will find that we have compiled relevant information that will be very useful to anyone hoping to publish. This information covers everything from what is publishing, reasons for publishing, where to publish, vetting, open access journals, high impact journals, and predatory journals. You can also get information on plagiarism by clicking on this link. Here you will find that we have compiled relevant information on plagiarism, what is plagiarism, types of plagiarism, preventing plagiarism, consequences of plagiarism, plagiarism detection tools employed at the University of Nairobi, the role of the library concerning this issue, as well as the role of the lecturer or instructor. The library website has a wealth of information and resources that can be useful to you as a student or researcher. We invite you to visit our website and browse through it to take advantage of the resources that it provides. Thank you for listening.